All right, I just heard it straight from the Colonel's mouth that 2019 the rope swing is going to happen for Colonel. One way or another, somewhere, somehow, we got to hold the Colonel accountable. It may not be graceful, but it'll happen. For the record, you heard it right here from the Colonel himself. Yep. 2019 rope swing. We're going to find him on the Alasable River next fall. It will be epic. Stay tuned. 2019 Alasable River, baby. Hey, it's story time here. There we go, Colonel. The adventure is about to begin. Woohoo! Woohoo! Hurry up, Colonel. I want to get on the river. <laughs> it's about time we get moving. Right there, your uh, heavy duty kayak wheels. You want to stop? Nope, I have no interest. I have full faith in my homemade kayak dog. What do you think you're going to hold up, Colonel? It's going to be awesome video footage if mine failed and yours survived. <laughs> <laughs> We have arrived at Carlisle Canoe Livery. Colonel, are you ready for this adventure, buddy? Let's make it happen. Oh man, I can't wait. It's gonna be awesome. We are getting ready to put in here in just a few moments. You can see all their canoes there behind me. Nice big pile of kayaks. And wait till you see the Osable. Osable? Osable? I call it Osable. I think it's actually pronounced the Osable. But it is a beautiful, quick moving river. Supposedly it's up four inches. Mid 50s, it's cold water, it's spring fed. But we have an easy put in right here. It's only about eight or 10 inches deep. And you can see how swiftly this water is moving. It's gonna be an awesome trip. I can't wait to get on the water. We're gonna have beautiful weather almost the entire trip. There's a slight chance of rain and clouds tomorrow, but the rest of the trip, it's gonna be absolutely gorgeous. Guys, thanks for coming along. It's gonna be a great time. Going under I-75. We just began our adventure about 15 minutes ago. Colonel, how you feeling right now, buddy? We're on the Alasable River. Woo! Loving it. Been waiting on this since November of 18. Yes, sir. Beautiful. Look at this beautiful blue sky. Wow. That is pure Michigan. If you didn't hear that, Colonel said this is pure Michigan. And I would absolutely agree. We have been on the river for about a half hour now, and I gotta tell you, so far I'm pretty impressed. It's definitely different than what I'm used to seeing further down river, where uh, Lumberman's Monument is, and some of the, the ponds, the loud damn pond that uh, I've spent time in, in the past. It's a little different feel up here, but it is very beautiful, and I'm glad I'm getting to experience uh, a different section of the river. And I know Colonel's enjoying it so far. It's, uh, a little reminiscent of the Edisto River in South Carolina that we were on last November. That was our first big adventure together on our kayaks. So it's uh, about four o'clock now on a Saturday afternoon. We have a nice breeze helping us along. Every now and then it swirls around and uh, comes in our face, but uh, for the most part, it's in our backs. And we got a decent flow going on right now, heading towards Mayo Dam about 15 to 17 hours of float time. So probably won't even make it there by tomorrow night, but we'll be close at the latest uh, Monday morning, I would guess. But uh, absolutely beautiful stretch of water. And looking forward to finding some awesome campsites. But this is my homemade kayak dolly made out of three quarter inch PVC and a set of wheels and an axle from my kerosene, no, my diesel salamander heater that I use in my shop. All right, Colonel. Um, just checking my camera settings here, make sure I'm not overexposed and all blown out like Restless Outdoors. Yep. Looks pretty good right now. All right. Okay. So, we ready? Okay. Yep. We got a special treat coming up. Ooh. The Ozark Trail Chinese Puzzle did not come on this trip. It's been retired? It's been retired and demoted to my children. All right. So, we have a brand new, never out of the package. We are going to do the unboxing later this evening when I set it up. REI uh, two-man dome tent from David Ty, Ty Farms Dairy. All right. Wearing a hat, repping. So hopefully everything goes good and there is plenty of poles and all the pieces to this tent are in this package. Plenty of poles. I, I bought it last week uh, on a gift card from David. Uh, you know, he, he sent me a gift card for milking his cows. Uh, all so right. I got this nice tent. 
and I just I was so busy and getting work done before the trip I never had time to open it up so Wow that is crazy unboxing putting a lot of faith in REI products right here. <laughs> I would say so <laughs> you heard it straight from the colonel's mouth an unboxing of an REI tent tonight what did you say the uh, model of the REI tent it's was a two-man dome tent just REI two-man dome yeah, I will, no name I'll read the tag when I open it. okay all right, I'm looking forward to this unboxing. This is going to be pretty cool. <laughs> because I'm not totally confident that the colonel's going to be able to figure this out without my help. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> what the? <laughs> scared the crap out of me. Is that what's going to happen every time I say something the colonel doesn't like? <laughs> oh, you have to have an air horn in the water. Wow. <laughs> oh, boy, look at that. Our first beautiful sandy bluff, lovely pine tree reflection in the water up ahead. Man, that's picturesque. I love how intimate this river is. You know, we're pretty far up where it's still small and intimate and close. I love that part of it. There's a lot of windy turns. And there's the colonel meeting back up after going around the oxbow. <laughs> Oh, I got him go. My gosh. That was a lot of work for one stinging shot. <laughs> Holy crap! Whew. So the way our shuttle is going to work out on this through paddle is Carlisle Canoe Livery is going to be taking our truck to the marina in Oscoda and leaving it there for us. We have an extra key so we can get into our truck and just take off when we get there. They don't normally like to drive your vehicle, so keep that in mind if you're using Carlisle Canoe. They would prefer to meet you there and shuttle you back to their place. So thank you Carlisle Canoe for accommodating us on our special request so we could save two hours and get on the river right away and start heading to our Skoda. We are finally away from I-75 approximately three to four miles away from it and it is peaceful and calm and still holy cow i hear a siren off in the distance about 10 miles away and i don't like it all i want to hear is birds and crickets and wind and an occasional kernel one of my buddies from north carolina is going to be on this river next week he is going to love this river. This is beautiful. Totally different feel than uh, rivers in North Carolina, I imagine. He may be the river king, but we're first. We trumped him. That was one angry dog. That's a pretty cool bridge. You don't see one made like that every day. Wow. Private bridge, no trespassing. <laughs> the sun is starting to set. It's 6 30. We're scrambling. We need a place to camp, Colonel. Go Tom. We are in a 10 mile stretch of no camping and private property. What are we going to do? We're going to have to stealth camp. Sleep on the kayak. We are. This is in. just like the Edisto. We're in desperation mode again. It's yeah. I can't believe it. Every time I'm with you, it's desperation oh. mode for camping. Don't worry. Tomorrow we're gonna have a hundred sites to choose from. Says Jason <laughs> Matt. <laughs> it is ten after seven, 
as I think we have found camp for tonight. We have been looking for over an hour and we've not had any luck. We've been going past a lot of private property and then like, and then kind of a lot of scrub land. So we've been having trouble finding a place to camp. So we just found this little open grassy spot right off the river. It's kind of a high bank to pull the kayaks up. It was a little difficult, but here is the kicker. It comes with a picnic table. That is awesome. There's no path. There's no house. There is nothing around here. It's just me and the Colonel, a couple kayaks and a picnic table. Perfect. You got to wonder how they got it here. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> this is a great luxury. Be able to unpack and cook on a picnic table. This is going to be awesome. Now there's a little path here and maybe a little path right there, but everything's very overgrown and I see no houses off in the distance anywhere. So yes, we may be on private property, but it's very secluded and nothing is visible from the river. So since it's a quarter after seven, we're going to take the spot. Colonel, this is the spot. I think you can find a place for the unboxing of the REI tent. <laughs> Look at that sunset getting ready to happen. Holy crap. Postcard right there. My gosh, that sunshine is just amazing. Oh my word. Someone's serious about keeping their picnic table safe. Those kayakers take these picnic tables all the time. <laughs> it's very important to have them chained to a log. Wow. Colonel, we forgot to film your unboxing. Colonel has it took two people to put up. A brand new tent is set up. Lots of heavy the REI co-op two-man dome tent. We don't know the model. Let's open this bad boy up and check it out inside, Colonel. Here we go. It's the REI Co-op Camp Dome 2. About 100 bucks or 150 bucks? 99, 99. 99, 99. Uh, tight. tight with two people, but yeah. very comfortable one. You'll easily be able to get your gear in there. Yeah, that's all I need. And get sprawled out. So yeah. Yeah, we heard some rumbling off in the distance that way. There is a chance of thunderstorms tonight and tomorrow. Beautiful little location we got picked out here. Let's go over and check out my camp. I'm all set up. I got the old duplex tonight. Probably had it set up in less than three minutes. That's the great thing about the duplex. Quick and easy setup. This is probably the heaviest I've ever had my pack in the history of the Z-Packs are call because I brought both sleep systems. <clears throat> Inside I have my Dream Hammock Costco quilt and tarp from Hammock Gear and my duplex with my pad and a three pound sleeping bag. On this trip, I decided to bring my three pound hike and bike down sleeping bag is probably cheap down because why else would it weigh three pounds it is a 15 degree so it's way overkill but I didn't want to use my quilt on this trip because I was afraid of getting it wet so I brought my hike and bike down sleeping bag and I'm gonna use that in conjunction with my new Nemo tensor wide regular Thanks, Dan Becker, for your recommendation. Again, camp is just about completely set up. I want to give you guys a quick look inside my Z-Pax duplex and my sleep system for tonight. So, my extra heavy three-pound hike and bike sleeping bag. It's a 15 degree, a little overkill for tonight, but that's all right. I bought this sleeping bag for my camping trip at Baroque State Park in Gloucester, Ohio for my first ever solo backpacking trip. And tonight I am sleeping on something new. The Nemo Tensor Regular Wide Air Pad. I really am looking forward to sleeping on this for tonight. Dan Becker recommended this air pad and I did lay on his and try it out at 
Manitou Island last month and I really liked it. I actually have never slept really well on the Neo Air X Lite. So I'm really looking forward to trying out the uh, Nemo Tensor Pad. I'm hoping I get a better night's sleep on it. Otherwise, I'm going with my hammock tomorrow night. In addition to my sleep system tonight, I have the Nemo Air Philo. I have been dreaming of sleeping on the Philo since I laid my head on the Restless Outdoors Philo. And I cannot wait to lay my tired head on this pillow tonight. Thank you, Restless Outdoors. Well guys, the sun has went down over the trees and we are both hungry so it's time to get supper started tonight. We got a nice off Sable River fire going on tonight. Well, it's 8.30 at night and the sun has gone down. Beautiful night here on the river. You can see how dark it's getting now. The days are getting shorter here in uh, late September. Enjoying the last of our fire for the evening and our mountain house meals. And we're gonna hit the sack early tonight. Tomorrow we have a pretty big day. We're going to attempt around 30 miles and try to knock off a good chunk of the Aw Sable River. So it was a good first day, I guess late afternoon, early evening, on the Aw Sable River. We have a long way to go. We're only eight miles in. So we are gonna kick back and enjoy some fire and some mountain house meals and uh, turn in early tonight and hit the river early in the morning. So we'll see you then, good night. Hitting a pretty big storm at 5.30 a.m. Turn this light off. It's just been pounding this tent for 45 minutes. Now we're getting into the thunder and lightning. Been up all night regardless. Now I'm hoping I don't get electrocuted. Oh, buddy. This wasn't in the brochure. Hopefully the old REI tent holds it. Jeez, oh my good night. Holy cow. Woo. My word. Alright. Keep us in your prayers.